In the beginning, long before they were heroes, Spirit and Opportunity were a last-ditch effort to prove that NASA could still handle Mars. They started really as a, I wouldn't say an act of desperation, but we had our backs against the wall. In 1999, NASA suffered two embarrassing failures on Mars. An orbiter that lost its way thanks to a mix-up between English and metric units, and a lander that may have cut off its engines too soon. We never heard from it. We've never figured out what happened to it. So, in late 1999, the Mars program was a complete shambles. Facing questions about whether Mars was still worth the risk, NASA scrubbed most of its plans and debated the next step. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, would design and build the spacecraft, land it on Mars, and run the mission once it got there. And a planetary scientist named Steve Squires would lead the science team with a new approach to exploring Mars. With a couple of failures behind us and a lot of uncertainty ahead of us, there was an enormous amount of attention focused on our mission. I don't know what would have happened if we had failed. It would not have been good. Squires produced this animation to show all the stakeholders how everything was supposed to work. From the fiery entry into the atmosphere, all the way to the ground. The idea was the original Pathfinder lander. With the Pathfinder airbags, the Pathfinder parachute, and we just put something different inside. On Mars Pathfinder, the lander was where the computer was, that was where the brains were, that was where the bulk of the instruments were. The thing that made this mission different was the rovers. What we did was put the biggest rover we could possibly fit inside that lander. And everything moves. Everything travels with you as you go. All your instruments, your power system, your computer, and that enables true exploration. This rover would do more than just land on Mars. It would explore like a geologist, searching for clues to whether Mars was ever a place that could have supported life. NASA decided to build not one, but two of these robot geologists to double the chances of success. And by the time they approved the plan, the schedule was already tight. As they orbit the sun, Earth and Mars get close enough to launch a mission just once every 26 months. Miss that chance, and you have to wait another 26 months. Their deadline was the summer of 2003, less than three years away.